Fifteen projects qualified to enter the Global Wholesome Awards competition. Three winners from each of the five regional Wholesome Awards competitions held in 2011. The Flussbad project transforms an unused arm of the River Spree into a natural 745 meter long swimming pool and establishes a nature reserve that purifies the water using a reed bed with subsurface sand bed filters. The urban renewal concept for the museum's Insel provides a public recreation space for residents and tourists in the heart of the city. This project converts a former factory into a new city hall and civic centre. The design recycles not only the building structure and materials, but also the technical infrastructure. The building envelope is retained and selectively opened up for natural illumination. Modular clusters made of fiberglass reinforced gypsum complement the interior layout. A proposal to convert a bypassed motorway viaduct into layered homes forms the basis of this project. The bridge piers are reinforced with platforms designed to hold apartments. The project incorporates rainwater harvesting and geothermal power based on hot dry rock technology. Geothermal heating water is recycled in the sanitation system. The Arctic Food Network is a model to overcome the dependence of the Inuit people on expensive imported food products. The project intends to secure mobility between the scattered communities, enable the distribution of local foods, support traditional hunting and establish an independent economy. This project proposes an economical and flexible school prototype that can be adjusted to different classroom requirements and teaching styles. The two-level building can accommodate up to 500 students. The construction uses off-the-shelf modular panels to create a double-layer facade for solar, acoustic and environmental control. This building complex meets stringent regulations for safety, operation and durability, while also providing a welcoming appearance. The large energy demand is addressed through a net zero energy goal, based on features such as ground source heating and cooling, a solar wall to temper intake air, peaking biodiesel boilers and LED lighting. Informal development in the steep slopes of the Paraisopolis favela has led to dangerous mudslides. This project builds infrastructure in the void to prevent further erosion by creating a natural arena within a terraced public space that also includes a precinct for urban agriculture. A public building accommodates a music school, sports facility and transportation infrastructure. This master plan for a tsunami risk zone proposes to plant trees to revegetate the flood-prone coastal fringe in order to dissipate potential tsunami waves. Behind this first line of defense are restricted use buildings with an evacuation plan. The multifaceted approach also creates public open spaces that alleviate the lack of inner city recreation areas. This strategy intends to radically improve the conditions of a city suffering from increasing levels of violence associated with drugs and arms trafficking. It is based on the consolidation of water retention basins to mitigate future flooding and their conversion into public spaces for economic, educational and recreational activities to strengthen community networks.
This school provides continuing education to the inhabitants of a rural area. An array of design features respond to the challenging climate. Cooling by natural ventilation is enhanced by routing air through underground ducts, strategic planting of trees and shrubs, and ventilated roof and facade assemblies. Energy needs are met through solar power and wind generation. This refurbishment of a primary school in a Bedouin community improves everyday school life. Traditional earth blocks are easily produced and adapted by local masons to build walls that passively balance the indoor climate. The use of local resources allows for import independent construction and reduces energy demands and logistics costs. This training centre provides neighbourhood youth with vocational skills and qualifications. The design applies methods that are both sustainable and part of a rich tradition of clay architecture in the region. The project re-engages the use of raw earth as a building material and also combines shading and natural ventilation with modern, sustainable technologies. This project expands a rural school for girls and mitigates earthquake risk by using a structure divided into two compact parts. Thick ground floor walls made of cob are supported by a masonry foundation. The upper floor is framed in durable bamboo with an earthen filling. Locals will build the school and can then transfer the technology to other projects in the area. A former textile factory is transformed into an agricultural production site and retail outlet. The factory is converted into an eco-supermarket. Additional buildings, a restaurant and a marketplace are integrated into the production facility. Further units shall be established across the city, re-establishing self-sufficient food production and consumption. The design of this 14-level building is based on state-of-the-art technologies. Vegetation is integrated to reduce energy consumption, provide natural shading and create comfortable spaces. A double-layer facade improves thermal performance. Runoff water is collected, treated and stored on-site for irrigation. The jury of 10 internationally renowned experts led by Enrique Norton evaluated the finalists based on richly detailed posters that show how each project responds to the target issues for sustainable construction. These submissions, as innovative as they are diverse, represent the most outstanding project selected from more than 6,000 entries in 146 countries.